Kingdom Church presents the anointing of hands. Do you feel as though whatever you do is cursed? Are you experiencing bad luck in everything that you do? Here at the Kingdom Church, we are receiving thousands of testimonies from people around the world that have experienced cursed hands turning into miracle touches. Come and join us for your testimonies guaranteed anointing of hands. Hello there. What a wonderful time we have been having here. Welcome once again to the Miracle Times, a place where the captives are set free. You know one teacher about the Bible says we don't fight against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, and every evil spirit in high places. You know one thing I'm so happy is me and uh, uh, Reverend Haji, Adam Haji, we have been here for the last couple of days, couple of weeks. And you know one thing, I was so glad. I'm just here in Kenya, uh, and, and, I, and I managed to meet up with him. I've been looking for him because I wanted to share some things because we got the same revelation to see what God has been doing. And you know one thing, Reverend Haji, I want to be able to welcome you once again. Amen. I don't know, waste a lot of time because for the last few days there are people who have been following this. That's right. You know, we're talking about principalities. That's right. You are, you know, you are, you are, you are, you are from Somalia. That's right. You are a principal actually of a, of a, of a Islamic school in That's Somalia. That's right. God saved you. That's right. And the most amazing thing we came to realize is that there are different types of spirits. That's right. And especially most of Christians and most of the pastors, there are some spirits that they don't know how to deal with them. Uh -huh. And I realized that many years ago because I realized that people could not be delivered anywhere else. When they come to our ministry, they get delivered. That's right. You know, the, success, the key was because I had no about the genies mm -hmm. you see and, and many people that are suffering is genies these are kind of Islamic spirit that has been assigned mm -hmm. and you begin to for example voodoo has to do with with well, well yeah, along the around the Caribbean and around Southern America, mm -hmm. juju has to do with West Africa. We got ancestors. Ancestor spirit has to do with Central, uh, you know, Africa, Southern Africa, all the way to East Africa. But also, we have the genies. That's right. Which also has to deal with the Arabs. That's right. Uh, and it's, it's Islamics. That's right. Because the Quran accepts it. Uh -huh. the, the Bible cast it out. Cast it out. And we have the the, the devil worshippers. That's right. These are the the society like the Freemason, Illuminati, and many other whatever it is. That's right. Now, you know, you know, we were talking about yesterday. Uh, for the last couple of days, we talked about different type of genies, genies. that can be assigned. That's right. We came to realize there are two categories of genies. Mm -hmm. There are genies that can be bought. That's right. You know, for you, you wear them like goats. That's right. You, you, know, you, know, you know, for you to be able to produce wealth. That's right. There are some other genies, uh -huh. which actually, as you go and buy them and you send them yeah -huh. to cause trouble. That's to right. To destroy, to kill. Uh, they come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That's right. Jesus said, I came that you may have life uh -huh. and have it more abundantly. That's right. Yes, you know, yes, Reverend. Now we have talked about Jabba. Yes. We have talked about Shamsa. Shamsa, which is, uh, which is a, a, a spirit of assassination. That's right. If somebody sends some Shamsa on your way, you are the end. You cannot That's the survive. end of you. That's right. You know, you know, the other day I came to realize that Shamsa actually, you know, Shamsa sits on top of the roof. That's right. You know, how does it do that? That's why a lot of time you sleep, you see a ka -ka 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 on top of your roof. That's Shamsa. Sometimes you hear like birds. Yeah, like birds, like uh, something is passing there. Cut, mostly, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's Shamsa. That's Shamsa. And Shamsa comes on top. Shamsa lives on top. Yes. Java lives down. That's why it's form of stone. Stone doesn't live on top. Mm -mm. Shamsa lives on top. Java and is down. Shamsa comes from the word sun. Sun. Which means to dry. Yeah, that's right. You know, and and and, and Samsha is, is a very dangerous spirit because it's a spirit of assassination. That's right. It, 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 if it, somebody wanted to finish you completely, he send you Jimmy Shamsa completely to finish you. And it doesn't matter where you are. You can be working with one bank, and my friend, you can become bankrupt, very poor, poor without money. Because somebody has, has done it. And also, we talked also about uh, uh, Al Kabut. Well, uh, Al Kabut. Al Kabut. The one which it's you slowly. Slowly but slowly. Slowly and slowly. In the, the form of cancer. It is the genie that's behind cancer. That's right. And all this in, and incredible. Incredible diseases. Even HIV. That's right. And all those. That's right. Because I have seen people 
who actually they are married and you know very well they have never wandered outside uh -huh. their marriages. Uh -huh. Their husband you find is HIV positive uh -huh. and the, well, the wife is not. And sometimes you begin to realize that the wife is HIV positive, the husband is not. That's right. And then they have been having unprotected sex. Mm -hmm. And none is infecting each other. Mm -hmm. But that is meant to destroy the marriage. That's right. It, it slowly and so psychologically, uh -huh. physically uh -huh. and spiritually. Now uh, even financially. No, financially too. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is amazing. Now today we are dealing with the last one. The last one is Makata. Let me hear about this Makata. Oh, this one is mostly from East Africa, mm -hmm. but it has been imported to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. It has imported to Ghana because I met people from Ghana have the same problem. Now it has even entered the UK. And in America. In America, the Caribbean. Caribbean. Especially among the Caribbean. It's That's right. Much. That's right. Yes. This is where, where we read about uh, the, um, the man I, I pray that you read. Yes. That's where I wanted us to start. The, the Bible says in the book of Mark chapter 5, I want to read from verse 1 all the way to uh, whatever any time you yes that's right he says then he came over to the other side of the sea in the uh -huh. country of gadarenes uh -huh. and when uh, and when he came to when jesus came out of the ship immediately they met him out of the tomb a man with unclean spirit that's right who had his dwelling among the tombs uh -huh. and no man could bind him no not with chains number one makata lives and dwells in the tomb wow this spirit the spirit it lives in the tombs yeah in the tomb that's Cemeteries. where they live cemeteries in the cemeteries that's mm -hmm. where they live mm -hmm. that's why you see a lot of people that I, I was reading about the africa cup of nation in bbc and you couldn't believe this uh, at certain country the coach say some of the players used to go and pray in the grave what are they praying for the power of makata and we'll see it here uh, and he says that because he had been often bound with fetus and chains and the chains has been plucked asunder by him Watch it now, they are asunder by him. And it says here now, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. That's right. That's why these players are going to the tomb, just to ask for the power of Makata, so that they have a lot of strength when they are playing. Wow, this is amazing. I read it and I was shocked. And I was showing my friend, I said, this is what I was telling you. Because whenever somebody has Makata, he has extraordinary strength. Wow. A lot of them, if they are sent to you, you become mad. There are a lot of a lot of, a lot of type of madness. They are the ones. There are some of the madness which collect grass, which collect rubbishes in a paper bag. That's one of mad uh, type of a mad. There is a mad person whom goes around speaking, but there is another one with a lot of strength. This is magic. This is not psychological problem. This is magic. He possesses them from the tomb. The, the man says he will, he will pluck the chains. As easy as that. So you're not telling me some of the players, this, they go and even some politicians. That's right. And some of these magicians. That's right. They use the Makata powers. From the grave. When they, that's the reason why they have to go to the grave. That's right. To get this power. Aha. Uh -huh. So now they can perform supernatural. 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 And wherever supernatural. they go there, one of their family members or friends must be mad. After this service they do in the tomb, one of them must be mad. This is a sacrifice they do. Yeah, a sacrifice. Let, let our listeners please remember this, that every genius that somebody sends to you, he has sacrificed to send it to you. That one you have to bear it in mind. Any genie that has been sent a to sacrifice you, has a sacrifice has already been paid. Can we go on? And it says, you know, the Bible says, always night and day, he was in the mountain and in the tombs, crying and, and cutting, cutting himself, himself with, with stones. stones. Not knife. Why? <laughs> because stones are for Jabba. So the more he cuts himself, he cuts himself with poverty. The you cannot have Jini Makata and have richness. Mm -hmm. You must be poor. The more you earn money, the more the genies tell you how to use it. This is dangerous. This is dangerous because there, we have a lot of people who think if they go to the tomb and worship there and follow my genies, they will become rich. I have a friend of mine. My, 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 his father was called Haji Muhammad, like my father. He went and he collected Jini Makata. He built a lot of buildings. A lot of buildings. A lot of buildings. His father was a billionaire. But when he died, he died with every coin. What do you mean? I'm telling you. Because when you have Jini Makata, when somebody has Jini Makata, when he dies, he dies with it. You will not live for your children's inheritance. You live with nothing. Nothing. No you die with it. No wonder why you see some people work very hard. That's right. They're very rich. But when they begin to die, everything... They Cases have come up. Cases from nowhere come up. Banks from nowhere comes up claiming... Possess everything. Children from nowhere comes claiming that this is our father. 
and everything is taken away. That's right. You know what are what are some of the signs about this genie this 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 genie makata? Jenny Makata, you will have mostly a lot of time you will have a headache in front here, not in the back, mm -hmm. in the front. Because Jenny Makata is so much associated with madness. Mm -hmm. You will feel like you want to go mad. Like going crazy. I'm telling you, spirit of forgetfulness follows you every time. You can put a mobile here and forget where you put it and such and such points. Yeah. Can't find them. You can't find them. You put your application forms, you can't find them. That's how Makata starts when working. You, when you need them, you cannot find them. In fact, Makata starts with forgetfulness. Yeah. You forget every time. A lot of people, they live in Europe, they live in America, and they are from Africa. Maybe they are from Caribbean every, every other time. They were very powerful, intelligent, sharp. But now, forgetfulness follows them. Okay. Even in the place of work, they forget. <laughs> they look for files, and they have okay. just put it there. They look for a mobile and he has just put it there. Documents. Documents. Why? Makata is following it. I told you that genies are not in a hurry. They eat you slowly. That's how they start. Wow. I'm telling you. Another sign. Another sign is depression. Yes. Yeah. Because depression comes by a lot of thinking. So Makata, what he does, if he wants to kill you, he'll make sure that you will think a lot, nothing. You're always in fear. You fear nothing. You always see yourself dying. You always see yourself killing yourself. You are heading to the tomb. So depressions follows you. A lot of depressions are not psychological problems. Mm -hmm. They are magenies. These are spiritual problems. That's right. That's they are spiritual. Makata. They are makatas. A lot of us take our kids to a rehabilitation or for, for a counseling. Do you think a counseling can remove a magenie no. from somebody? No. And what does the word makata mean? Makata means something which can cut you into pieces. That means cutter. Cutter. Means yeah, cutting into cutter. Pieces. Another sign. Another sign most of the it is the use of drug. Because Makata will kill you slowly and will give you an alternative that if you use this drug, you will be healed. So you start, get, oh, I see it. Uh -huh. So you start getting addicted to drugs. Drugs. Panadols. Panadols. Paracetamols. Paracetamols. And there's also others will be addicted to cocaine. Cocaine. You'll be a, a opium. That's right. And all those things. And if you're addicted to drugs, where do you head for? Tomb. Tomb. That's right. And now I see why some of these powerful people, you know, suddenly, you begin to see they go and cut this demonic covenants with the spirit of death, which uh -huh. is Makata. Uh -huh. And then suddenly they turn into drug addiction. That's right. And they go to rehabilitation after rehabilitation without healing. Because they have cut a covenant. That's right. Can they be delivered? They can. Wow. They can. And by the end we know that they can, Pastor. There is nothing impossible with God. Not with counseling. With God. All things are possible. All things are possible with God. An another sign. Most of the signs that we have said is headache, yes. never forget that. Mm -hmm. Depression, mm -hmm. never forget that. Addiction, never forget that. Addiction to pornography. Pornography. And addiction to drinking. Drinking. Smoking. Smoking, those are the work of Makata. Because when you drink too much, it cuts your liver uh -huh. and all those things. Uh -huh. And can I tell you something, And what, which Makata does? If you want, it want to kill you, it pulls you out of, out of a group mm -hmm. or a member or a family. Mm -hmm. You want to be alone always. Mm -hmm. In your room alone always. Mm -hmm. You want to be alone. You don't want to be with people. You feel like you want to be alone. Why? It wants to kill you. Because you know, it knows with association there is power. Yes. So you see people who are attending churches in a fellowship, in a Bible class fellowship, they started coming back slowly and slowly, removing themselves from the goof. They, 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 with they the want to close themselves in a room always, alone. Because of that spirit. That spirit, Makata, that's what he does. He kills you slowly, alone. So you see a lot of people, I was in a family, I was asking, where is that young man? I was staying in that, in a, a whole week in the house. Wherever I asked them, they said, he's in the, in the room. What is he doing? We don't know. Until one day I said, please, I want to enter that room. And what happened? I saw that young man sleeping in the bed, head down, legs up. You know that's a sign of worshipping something. Yes. The legs were up, the head was down. And he was speaking something I didn't understand. And let me tell you something. The last sign of Makata yes. is dirtiness. Dirtiness. Somebody even doesn't want Feel to take showers. He doesn't want to clean his room. Because that is the sign of the tomb. That when I decay. enter, decay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I enter that room, I was shocked. It was smelly. Everything there was smelly. Mm -hmm. 
the guy couldn't wash even his clothes until somebody washes for him. That's not laziness. That's machini makata. Hmm. I am telling you the truth. Where you can see somebody has money by his debt. I'm telling you. You can see somebody has a house, you give them a house, it's dirty. That's right. Everything is filthy. Uh -huh. The kitchen is filthy. Uh -huh. The bedroom is filthy. Uh -huh. The car is filthy. Uh -huh. That is Makata. And somebody can drive a car which is dirty. And he sees this car is dirty. Rather than washing it, he just drives. Makata is coming, slowly eating you up. And we have a lot of people who are listening to us. They are addicted to the drugs, Pastor. Yes. Even Panadol. Panadol. Toward medicine. I have a friend of mine, wherever he has headache, just imagine this, he takes a tobacco from a cigarette and he started to chew the tobacco so that the head can be healed and it heals, it's work for him. But if you look, that is Kini Makata. And the man is addicted. Addicted to he, that he tobacco. He to medications. That's right. Paracetamol. Uh -huh. Some of them actually can be that dog, are, are being prescribed by the doctors. Sleeping pills. That's right. Those are makata. I we have know. a lot of people, Bishop, who are listening to us. They are not doctors by profession and they are not nurses by profession, but they can give you medication until you are, you, you are shocked because they have used the medication until they know it. Can you imagine? The temple of God full of medication. Somebody, you're watching this program. That's right. And I see that you have you're been taking sleeping pills because you cannot sleep. Uh -huh. Because makata, Jimmy Makata, has been assigned to destroy you. Because after a long run, your body is going to break down all by itself. I feel but it. in the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus, I command that genie Makata, come out. In Jesus' name. I feel it. Yes. In the mighty name of yes. Jesus. There is a man. You are destroying your family. It is not you. The wife is listening to me. Your husband is a drug addict. He drinks a lot. Wherever he gets money, he drinks a lot. You struggle for finances. You struggle to get finances and keep the family. Mama, if you want your husband to be free, you can set him free. Right that now. is not about drug addiction. That is about Jenny Makata, who has possessed your husband. He cannot stay without alcohol. As you listen to me now, you know very well he has gone somewhere to drink. You know that. And you can release your husband now. That is not alcoholism. That is not about rehabilitation. Don't think how to take him to a rehabilitation. It is about Jimmy Makata. Just pick that phone, plant a special seed for him to release him from Jimmy Makata. And you will be shocked. He will hate alcohol in Jesus' mighty name. I feel in my spirit, if that is you, sow a seed according, number one, to the number of your marriage. That's right. And also the years of his age. That's right. And the that years mostly. Is the going. years of his age. There is something in about Jesus mighty when name. you sow a seed according to the number of your age. That's right. Makata cannot stand. In Jesus' because name. Because what you're saying, God, since when I came out of my mother's womb, that's right. I belong to you. That's right. Someone that you're watching this program and I see that you are addicted to porn, to porn, to masturbation. Pornography. Masturbation. But what you don't realize, Makata is killing your sexuality. Because at the end of the day, you begin to get your manhood will not be able to function. That's right. But today, in the name of Jesus, I command that Jimmy Makata that is hooked into pornography, live in Jesus. In Jesus, name. my That is, you go to the phone, call that number, and so that seed according to the number of your age. In and Jesus, you my that seed declare, I have victory over every Jimmy Makata. In, in Jesus, Jesus, mighty name. Yes. And listen to me very carefully, Pastor. There is a family, a my very pastor. rich family, yes. which is listening to us. Yes. Now. They are very rich family mm -hmm. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. But the biggest problem in their family is death is killing them. Death is killing them. I can feel that now. They are dying younger and younger and younger. And the biggest problem is drugs is killing them. Makasso Premature Makasso. death is killing them. Do you know I have a word for them? Yes. If, if, if they can sacrifice yes. $150,000. Yes. It's look a lot. Yes. But $150,000. Yes. You know why? Mama. Because the Holy Spirit told me yes. those family must live their fullness. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, I was teaching about living a full life, yes. that a man's year for living is yes. 70. Yes. And 80 is added unto them. Yes. That means 150. Yes. So as you plant $150,000, premature death is coming out of your family. Yes. I know you are rich. I know you can make it. But premature death is robbing. Premature death is robbing. It is robbing. In fact, I see death surrounding that house. I see it. And a hundred and fifty dollar seed will take it out in Jesus' mighty name. I hand. see while you're talking about that family. This is a this is a generational curse. That's right. Because the foundation of that family uh -huh. was demonic. That's right. And because of that, this Jimmy has been eating the family. 
premature. The, the, see, this, the Bible tells us this man, mm. not Karabu, mm. we're talking about this family. Mm. This is a very rich family. That's right. For many, 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 many back of many years. That's right. Your wealth has been for generations. That's right. But there is a premature death. There is drug addiction. That's why right. people are dying here. In fact, they don't enjoy the finances as we speak. They don't enjoy. Everything is all miserable. Uh -huh. The Bible tells this man used to live in the tombs. These tombs were his ancestors' tomb. That's why right. his spirit had brought him back again. That's why right. the tomb of his ancestors. That's why right. somebody there right now. There is spirit of death is demanding your family member. Must be broken in, in Jesus', Jesus name. That genie Makata That's must right. be broken. The prophet of God has spoken. So that seed of one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Right Just pick now. the phone now. You can afford in so Jesus it's right now name. because that curse is going to be broken. In, in Jesus', Jesus name. mighty name. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Makarabu. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. And I want to speak to the people who are in the UK. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Those whose kids are in drug addiction. Mm -hmm. Those in the UK specifically. Europe, UK, you, all of you. All of you. Those who kids are in drug addiction, the kids, just plant a seed of a thousand five hundred dollars yes. so that they can live a long life. Yes. hundred and fifty years. Yes. One thousand five hundred pounds. Not dollars, but it's pounds, I'm sorry. Yes. Pounds. And you will see yes. they will leave that drugness because I'm commanding it now in the mighty name of Jesus for every seed of one thousand five hundred pounds yes. for every kid. Yes. For every kid. Yes. And no more rehabilitation. No more. No more rehabilitation. Shame is not your in Jesus' mighty name. Shame is not Shame your portion. Is not your portion because there are family who are great. They are leaders and the kids are shaming them because of drug, I, I, drugs I, I, addiction. I, I want to ask you, this genie Makata, is it the genie that manifests with cats? That's right. Let me hear this. With snakes? Yes. They, they, they are the ones. You see your young man, you have just brought him up, you ask him a question, he is angry with you, he wants to beat you. It's not drugs. Mm -mm. It's Makata. And it's no rebellion. Not rebellion. It's Makata. Yeah, a lot of time we think our kids are rebellion, we punish them. Yet, it is what we read in the Lamentation chapter 5. Our father sinned and we are paying the consequences. The kids are paying the consequences. And, and is this, is it Jin Makata? What about this spirit that's behind following people as cats, as, as, uh, uh, as birds? That's right. Yes. Those are, if wherever you see cat and a bat, yes. mostly and all, that means death. That means premature death, my friend. If you see a cat coming, it is following you. It is following you. It is pronouncing that Makata has already finished his work. So they are just coming to finish you. So they are commanding the death, the cloud of the death, to follow you. Go to the phone. In Jesus' name. Call that number right now. Right now. You know, and, and you know how can these people get delivered? They In Jesus' name. How can they get delivered? There are some people, after you plant a seed, it is my prayer, Pastor, yes. that they come personally, personally to the church where your ministry is. Because some of these things cannot just be prayed over. Ah, ma, 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 Shanda. Yes. They can't. They must. I was telling you about the woman with the issue of the blood. Yes, yes. She had to tick, touch Jesus. Yes. Can I tell you something? Yes. Bartholomew was a blind person. Yes. Jesus said, your faith healed him. He didn't even touch him. He didn't touch him. But there was another blind person. Mm. When he met Jesus, mm. Jesus took him out of the town, yeah. took a soy, Put it in his eyes. Why? That person had magic and he needed a contact with Jesus' hand. There are some people who are watching us. What you need is the hand to deliver you. One on one deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. If you right now call that number that is on the screen right now, make your appointment to come and get delivered. In Jesus' name. get delivered on our set. If you live in Scotland, we have a, an open 24 hour center in Edinburgh. That's right. We have an open 24 hour in London. That's right. It's one of the largest. You know, we have also, and now we just opened up a new one in, 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 in Newark, New Jersey. That's right. In the USA. Uh -huh. New Jersey. Make an appointment and get the link. Because enough is enough in Jesus. That's right. Amen. And let me tell you something. The miracle that you need <coughs> is in your hand. Amen. Take that phone. Take that seat. When, Jesus, when God wanted to deliver Moses, you know what he asked him? What, what is in your hand? Yes. So whatsoever you need to deliver yourself, it is in your hand. Don't look at it and say this is big. Your life is bigger than the seed. I saw Jesus how do you get name. people delivered. I saw that you sprinkle the water. That's right. Tell the people about this water. Let me tell you something. Wherever you see water in the Bible, it stands for life. This is life. And genies are there to destroy your life. And genies are afraid of miracle water. That's right. They fear. If there is something genies fear, is the miracle water. Yes. The sprinkled water. They fear it. Why? I don't know. I've come because, to realize because this. Because water brings life. It brings it's life. It's symbolic of life. And genies, they don't have life. They have death. Mm -hmm. That is it. So, and life and death, they cannot move in a right way. Mm -hmm. 
I'm telling you the truth. So when you sprinkle the miracle water like this, in, I'm telling it you, is, when you sp the Bible says, you know, it, when you sprinkle the miracle water, it is the spirit of life. That's right. You yes. bring life in your house. Yes. I sprinkle it normally in yes. my bed. Yes. Around my bed. I sprinkle it in my kitchen. I sprinkle my kids before they go to school on yes. top of their head yes. so that any genie cannot touch them. I sprinkle them. Wow. So I use them, it is a weapon. You know God has given us weapon? Yes. Somebody told me, oh, this looks like witchcraft. It's not witchcraft. It is not more than what Jacob used. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? He took a basin and water yes. and he put stick inside yes. and he started to stir up. Yes. Is that more? How does that look like? But this one is the answer. When God wanted to save us, he gave us things to use. Yes. I am telling you that. Can you say that again? And we have weapons to yes. use. The blood of Jesus is a weapon. Yes. Water is a weapon. Yes. Anointing oil is a weapon. Yes. That's why God said, if one of you is sick, yes. go to the elders and do what? Anoint the person. Anoint, because it is there. It is a weapon that we have been used. These are the machine guns and the bombs and the grenades that we finish it with the kingdom of the and, devil. And you told me especially about this miracle water. That's right. You told me that actually people that have been HIV have been healed. That's right. People that have gone Makata, actually they even mix the three of them and drink. That's right. The this water. one, the water, the Bible says the water, the work of the water yes. is stand for life. Yes. It brings life in your life. The anointing oil, because somebody with AIDS is dying, yes. so he needs life. Yes. The number two, the anointing oil, yes. breaks the yoke. Yes. He has a yoke of AIDS, yes. so he needs something to break it. Yes. Then the salt preserves, uh -huh. so he needs to be preserved. So whenever somebody comes with AIDS, I always mix the three of them. Yes. I give it to them. They drink or they paint themselves with it, and you see a miracle happening. And they have been vomiting things. And they have been vomiting black things, I'm telling you. A friend of mine took the whole of it and he mixed it together and he started sprinkling salt plus anointing oil plus the water of life around his compound and guess what? What happened? That day he killed five snakes. Five snakes? Five snakes. I don't know where they have come from. He called me to see it. Five snakes he killed. God exposed everything. A friend of mine sprinkled it in his bedroom. You know what I appeared under the bedroom? Under the, the mattress? A scorpion. A scorpion. This under one. The under the, under the mattress. Under the mattress, a scorpion. You ask me from where, I don't know, but I believe in witchcraft and magicians. So this tree, if you can buy, it will do a miracle to the in your life. Right now. Order your Mix them. Pack right now. In Jesus' name. Jesus Makata will not succeed in your life in the name of Jesus. Can I tell somebody something, Bishop? Yes, please go ahead. Rather than you support your family yes. for sending them money, just send them this. Because it will break the yoke and set them free. Yes. And a lot of you love supporting your family. Your family has become a burden to you. This time, send them financial support, but, but plus this. And you'll see next time, they will never. That madness is going to go. That sickness is going to go. That struggle is going to go in the name of Jesus. And it is my prayer to every Christian. Sprinkle it in your house. Everywhere. Sprinkle it in the office. In the business place. Sprinkle it. Sp I am telling you, sprinkle the, the blood of Jesus. That's right. Everywhere. Amen. Because the blood of Jesus speaks a better thing. You know, when you, when you sprinkle this one, the, you, know, you know, the Bible says in the book of Ezekiel 36, verse 25, and I shall sprinkle a clean water upon you, and you shall be clean. And from all your filthiness and from all your idol, I will cleanse you. That's right. Can you imagine? So when they have sent that makata on you, if you, if, if, if you when they send when they, when they send that makata on you, when you when you when you sprinkle this water, you will clean yourself from all those evil spirits. That's right. Because faith without action is dead. And I want to tell somebody something because mm -hmm. there are some people who are listening to us. This sprinkled water you can use it two times. Mm -hmm. Outside you can pour it in your bathing water, yeah. or if you use showers. Sometimes I use showers, I clean myself, then I pour it this one. Yes. And then if you have sickness inside you, you just open your mouth, yes. and put it pour it inside, in. yes. and swallow it, yes. and you see a miracle happen in Jesus' mighty name. You know one thing, we have really come to the end of this program. Amen. And I know for the last few days, you have been blessed every day. You know one thing, you can get all this program, and, uh, and I'll go to the phone, order your miracle pack right now for your miracle, but not only that, sow those seeds that the man of God spoke in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So, you know tomorrow, we are going to deal with the last one. That's so, right. You know, I've been holding you all day long. That's right. And I thank God for that. Tomorrow, we're going to deal with about, what, what are we going to deal with tomorrow? Tura. That tomorrow. is about the soil. About the soil. It will be very powerful. something about the soil. That's right. Get yourself ready. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. In Amen. Jesus' name.
Amen. The Kingdom Church presents the anointing of the feet. will 